Welcome to my channel on this occasion. We will discuss the latest developments regarding the arrival of the Pohang class corvette that will strengthen the Philippine Navy fleet. This corvette is part of the cooperation between the Philippines and South Korea, which will help improve our country's maritime defense capabilities, especially amidst the increasing tensions in the West Philippine Sea. Make sure you watch this video until the end to get complete information about this ship transfer, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and activate the notification bell so you don't miss the latest news from us. Another class of corvette that will be transferred to the Philippine Navy has now arrived in our country. This is the second class of corvette that will be delivered to the Philippines. That's what we will discuss but before that, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, and press the notification bell button so you always get the latest video updates. According to our sources, another class of corvette from South Korea will be coming to our country. It has been quite some time since this ship arrived in our country, especially after South Korea approved the transfer. According to the timeline, the other class of corvette was supposed to be delivered to the Philippines in 2023. However, due to delays, the transfer of the ship was delayed. Now expected in 2024, the Pohang class corvette will arrive. The Pohang class corvette, my friends, is a low-end complement to the Republic of Korea's domestic Navy development plan. This ship was designed as part of the South Korean Armed Forces first YIT project. This is the original version that was originally planned as batch 2 of the Donghae class corvette production. However, many things have changed in the overall design of this ship such as the application of the H design to the Ulsan class frigate which was reclassified from the same class. This ship is designed to patrol the Northern Limit Line maritime boundary. The ship's duties also include protecting the coastal zone and countering North Korean ships. Since 1984, a total of 24 corvettes of this class have been commissioned into the South Korean Navy. Meanwhile, these ships began to be retired in 2009 and replaced by the FFX series program. As of 2023, there are five corvettes of this class still in service with the South Korean Navy, while seven have been transferred to other countries. The ship has a displacement of 950 tons when empty and 1,220 tons when fully loaded. The ship is 88.3 meters long, 10 meters wide, and has a draft of 2.9 meters. Powered by LM2500 gas turbine engines and two MTU 12 volts 956 terabytes 82 diesel engines, the ship has a maximum speed of 32 knots and a cruising speed of 15 knots. In terms of range, the ship has a maximum range of 4,000 nautical miles. Equipped with sensor and processing systems such as combat management system, fire control system, and radar, the ship also has anti-ship, anti-submarine, and anti-air capabilities. In addition to South Korea, countries that will operate the Pohang-class corvettes include Colombia, Egypt, Peru, the Philippines, and Vietnam. South Korea will also transfer three corvettes of this class to the Indonesian Navy. Let's wait a little longer, and the second corvette of the Philippine Navy will soon arrive in the Philippines. This will add to the strength of our country's weapons, especially considering the increasing tensions in the West Philippine Sea. Aside from the second-hand ships, there are two new corvettes that the Philippines purchased from South Korea. When these two ships arrive, the Philippines will have a total of four corvettes. Max Defense Philippines has received information from various sources confirming the ongoing negotiations on this. If the negotiations are successful, the Philippine Navy will have a total of four Pohang-class corvettes, including the first Korean ship, Rocks Chonju, now known as BRP Conrado Yap, PS-39, after being inducted into the Philippine Navy fleet. The PCC-771 Corvette, built in 1987 at the Hanjin Heavy Industries shipyard and adopted by the South Korean Navy in 1989, was retired on December 1, 2020 after 31 years of service. The arrival of these ships is expected to enhance the Philippine Navy's capabilities in dealing with enemy surface ships, submarines, strengthening airspace defense patrols, and countering piracy and terrorism.